Murray said the other day that you guys are on a track meet kind of team so that you want to build offense off your defense and kind of on the forecheck. It seems like the Rangers are a team that don't mind playing kind of the, you know, not say the fast break, but kind of creating the counterattack thing. How do you get back to playing your your game in these kind of in the series versus kind of letting them dictate that a little bit? Well, I said this the other night. The Rangers are really good at uh, taking advantage of opportunities you give them, and you know, it's hard to play the perfect game. Uh, and and we don't, you know, expect, you know, like we're going to play a perfect game, but we expect to play solid and. When you give up the opportunities we've given up, good teams like the Rangers take advantage of them. So, um, you know, limiting their chances off the rush, we gave up way too many last night. And when we're doing that, even if they don't score, now we're, you know, we're playing D zone. Now we're having to chip and change, and it just takes you kind of out of sync in your game. So, um, you know, we're limiting the amount of odd man rushes we give up on, you know, things we're doing, whether we're turnover a little bit of blown coverage it'll definitely help us out what do you think clicked for you guys in the last eight to ten minutes especially when you guys were i don't know i used the word ur urgency last night uh we played with a little bit of desperation um so you know for us to you know get back into the series we're gonna need a lot more of that uh, same lineup you anticipate tomorrow probably or yeah hard to say um the uh it'll be if not the same, it'll be close. I know you said you're not expecting a miracle, but is or is there any possibility of Braden point playing tomorrow? No. You had uh, Stamkos playing center more a little bit at the towards mm -hmm. the end of the game last night. Is that kind of trying to fill that hole more a little bit, or yeah, like so? Especially when we've gone eleven and seven, we've moved guys around. Guys are used to it. They um, Samer can play in any situation possible. Um, he's played a lot of center this year. He's played a lot of wing. Uh, again, we're, we're trying to find some answers last night and score some goals. Uh, when he went back in the middle, he did some good things for us. So, um, you know, we'll see how that bodes well for tomorrow if we continue to do that. But uh, it's, you know, take away positions guys are playing. It's our team game that's got to get better, and, and we know that. This as far as it's disturbing. Do you feel like you've done enough to maybe make it harder for him? What can you do better, maybe? Uh, well, some parts of the game we have and some parts we haven't. But I think, I always say this, if somebody's asking me that question, you already know the answer and I know the answer. So you can go from there. Is, is there anything at home with, with last change that you can do with the matchups differently? Than oh, there's lots of things. Um, but, you know, now we can dictate who's on the ice with whom. But in the end, like, you can, if your urgency is low or you're going to turn the pucks over, we're going to give up the rushes we're giving up, the matches don't really matter. It's our team game that we got to get better at. And, and uh, um, yeah, is it nice to have this? No question. Is it nice to be in front of our fans? No question. But there's, what I've talked about is the urgency part of our game has got to step up here. And Adam Fox, just what makes him so hard to play against, especially last night when he kind of was able to do so much with him. He, uh, he is, it's like all, he's got ice in his veins. It's actually pretty impressive to watch. Um, you know, you get to look at some of these players up close. You really haven't get, been able to watch. And he, I don't think anything, his skating doesn't stand out. His shot doesn't stand out. Like, it's not like he's a lead in any of these areas, but he's an elite player. And it's, uh, his vision is exceptional. And so you have to really, you, you can't take anything for granted with him because he, he sees everything so well. He, the game slows down for him. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with him. He's a, he's a heck of a player. Do you get more of an appreciation, an appreciation for players like that over a playoff series when you're seeing them kind of every day? I, I, you have to, right? Because it's not, this isn't game 22, it's game 92 or whatever it is. And so when you're playing at this time of year and you've played the competition they have, I mean, they went through an unreal Pittsburgh team and, and then a really strong Carolina team, and now they're going through us. And he kind of is at the forefront of all, a lot of the good things that are happening for him. Um, when you're doing it at the biggest stage, it's, it's pretty impressive. Your, you need to get your def 
that's been more involved offensively. I know that's a big part of your guys' game is getting those guys. You know, active. Yeah, that would that would help. Uh, you know, we we probably snuffed a few things out ourselves. Whether it was trying to make that extra play or getting shots blocked, um, but. We definitely have, we've got better in us on the back end for sure. That's a big part of our team. And, and when they're involved in our offense, it's a good thing for us. So, uh, yeah, it'll bode well to get, us more, get them more involved.